Hello everyone, here is a video showing how my morning to night routine looks like most of the days. I wake up at 5 every day and during weekends I head straight into the kitchen to make breakfast for my husband and pack lunch boxes for the kids. First I'm making half fried eggs and tea for my husband. I always listen to this morning dua by Sheikh Omar Hisham every morning and these duas are very beautiful. I think I've mentioned this before also. I'll post the link for this video in the description below. Please do check it out. The kids' lunch boxes are ready. For breakfast, it's mostly cereal here uh, because uh, they eat breakfast so early at uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. They cannot eat anything else that is heavy. So I'm just giving them the usual uh, frosties and uh, honey puffs. The mornings are extremely cold here in Kuwait now and I feel very sorry for the kids having to go to school so early in this freezing weather. So my husband and kids left uh, for office and school and luckily this day Omar didn't wake up with the kids. Since he is sleeping, I thought I'll get some work done. I prayed Fajr and then cleaned the kitchen counters and emptied the dishwasher. This book which is my planner is a very important thing in my life. I write down everything that I have to do each day in this book because only then I will be productive. Of course everything doesn't go as exactly as I've planned here but uh, at least I get an idea. As Ramadan is coming I had a lot of planning to do about what I'm going to post and when so I stuck this monthly planner template into this book. The next day, it took me almost one hour to plan my whole month and uh, I think I'm set for the whole month now. Uh, I know what to do, alhamdulillah. I hope I can do it as per plan. I am trying to finish my pending fast from last two years and so nowadays I'm fasting back to back. While I'm fasting, it is very difficult for me to stay awake in the morning without having breakfast. So I sleep for an hour, usually from 7 to 8 or 8.30. Then after waking up, I try to finish all my cooking for the day really quick before Omar wakes up. This day I made chicken korma which is my favorite curry recipe from my blog. To make this in a heavy bottom pan, you have to add oil. I used coconut oil and uh, added uh, fennel seeds. When the aroma gets released, I added onions and sauteed it well until it turns soft and translucent. Then I added ginger garlic paste, green chilies, turmeric powder and garam masala powder uh, here i've added uh, chopped ginger but uh, it would be really good if you add ginger julienne that is uh, what i recommend but i didn't have uh, extra ginger i had chopped everything and kept in the freezer so i just added chopped ginger next add in the chicken and cook for 20 minutes on uh, low flame until the chicken gets cooked the perfect combination for this curry is puri or uh, ghee rice. Today I thought I'll make puri because it's been long since I made it. So I'm preparing the dough and keeping it ready. Uh, for the curry you have to make a paste by grinding cashew nuts and uh, coconut milk powder and uh, all-purpose flour in uh, 
grinder with a little bit of water until you get a very smooth paste. Once the chicken is cooked, you can add the uh, ground mixture into it. I forgot to shoot it. I thought I was recording but I wasn't. And uh, then uh, simmer it for about 5 minutes. Then add curry leaves and uh, finally add a teaspoon of coconut oil. The curry is ready. It's been some time since Omar woke up and I made something new for him. That is yogurt granola bowl. I tried this yesterday and I loved it. So for this I just added yogurt in a bowl and then added granola. Then I added raspberries and medjool dates which Omar loves and finished it with a drizzle of agave syrup. You can even add honey or maple syrup. Omar wasn't very sure of the texture in the beginning but he kind of started liking it as he kept on eating. While he was busy watching his favorite Miss Rachel's class in uh, YouTube, I headed back into the kitchen to finish my work. I was preparing the chicken filling for uh, dinner here. So I marinated chicken with few spices and I kept it in a baking pan and uh, air fried it for uh, 20 to 25 minutes. I then cut the chicken further into smaller pieces. I then cut uh, cabbage and pickled jalapenos and added it to the chicken and mixed everything together. So the chicken filling is ready at uh, night. All I have to do is assemble the sandwich. All my kids love reading books, uh, even uh, baby Omar, he doesn't know how to read but uh, he wants me to read uh, books for him all the time. So uh, I had a few queries from uh, some of you uh, asking which books are good for uh, different age groups. Here I'm going to show you uh, which books are good for uh, toddlers. These Find Spot book series is Omar's favorite at the moment. He keeps asking me to read the same book over a million times in a day. This Peppa Pig book uh, with this clock is also his favorite because he likes turning the clock. Even sensory books are uh, very good for them because they can touch and feel and also read the story which uh, is uh, quite uh, fascinating for them. I would highly recommend uh, Usborn books uh, for all age groups. This Lift the Flap books are a favorite among uh, both Aisha and Omar. These two Usborn books uh, which is At Home and My Body is also a very good option. This Are You My Mummy books by Igloo Books is also a favorite here. And finally these two books. And finally these 10 minutes to bed uh, book series are perfect to read uh, during bedtime. At around 12 to 1, Omar goes for a little nap and this is the time when I uh, post stories or uh, reply to messages or uh, shoot videos or edit uh, videos and lots of things for the blog. I wanted to thank uh, some of you who always, always uh, don't fail to take time from your day to send messages to me and uh, put comments under my videos. It really means a lot. I, I cannot tell you how happy I feel reading your comments. Thank you so much. So it's almost time for my husband and kids to come back home. So I just made the bed and uh, I'm going to fry puri. It was drizzling outside that day so we went out for a little drive and we came back in time for uh, Maghrib and I broke my fast and then I spent some time with Hamid. He is uh, obsessed with the Rubik's Cube nowadays. He's trying uh, his best to solve it by looking at YouTube tutorials and I think even I'm learning a bit from him. So it was dinner time uh, so all I had to do was uh, uh, assemble the sandwich here I thought I'll just dip the tortilla in hot sauce mix and then uh, 
add the chicken filling and mozzarella and uh, toast it in butter. Once it was nicely toasted, I opened it and added chili mayo and uh, our dinner is ready. Kids wouldn't eat this so for them I had leftover ghee rice from the other day. So I took that out and mixed it with the chicken korma and uh, gave them a bit of the chicken from the sandwich and uh, cauliflower. So the kids went to bed and uh, I uh, took a shower and freshened up and did a bit of nighttime routine which is just uh, face wash. Then I applied toner and then a face serum and an eye serum, that's it. So that's it in this video. Hope you liked it and if you did, please do share it with your family and friends. And uh, thank you so much for watching.